Lizzie McGuire, which premiered on Disney Channel in January 2001, immediately became the network's most popular original series ever, making Duff the tween queen of young Hollywood. Before finishing its 65-episode run in 2004, the show ran for two seasons and had a successful motion picture. Disney Plus had also planned to relaunch Lizzie McGuire in 2019, with several of the original series' stars reprising their roles. However, the revival was ultimately cancelled due to rumors of friction behind the scenes, including the departure of Terry Minsky, the original creator and showrunner, shortly after filming had begun. In this video, we will discuss the cast of Lizzie McGuire, then and now. Welcome to Celebrity Rape, where we bring you all the latest celebrity news and gossip. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. We will finally be able to catch up with Lizzie 20 plus years after the show initially aired, thanks to the recent announcement that the legendary television show, Lizzie McGuire, will be receiving a relaunch on Disney's new streaming platform, Disney Plus. Hilary Duff At the age of 35, Hilary Duff continues to hold her unrivaled position as one of the most successful figures in the entertainment industry. Along with her main role in Younger and a reoccurring part in Gossip Girl, Duff is also considered the indisputable queen of the small screen. She even portrayed the late actress Sharon Tate in the movie The Haunting of Sharon Tate. Duff was set to reprise her iconic role in a Lizzie McGuire sequel series that was originally planned to premiere on Disney+, Plus, but, unfortunately, the revival was cancelled. Additionally, Duff was slated to participate in the production of the series as an executive producer. In December 2020, Duff made it clear that there would be no resumption of the show, stating that the stars just weren't aligned, indicating that something went wrong. In December 2019, Duff tied the knot with her lifelong fiancé Matthew Coma in a low-key ceremony held in their backyard. The happy couple is now expecting their second child together, joining Duff's two-year-old daughter, Banks Violet Bear, and eight-year-old son Luca from her previous marriage to Mike Comrie. Adam Lamberg After the Disney series, Adam Lamberg appeared as a leading actor in only two films, When Do We Eat and Beautiful Loser. However, his portrayal of Lizzie's best friend Gordo brought him the most fame. According to Bustle, in 2014, he was working as a developmental associate at the Irish Arts Center in New York City. When it was announced that Lamberg would be reprising his role as Gordo for the Lizzie McGuire revival, the internet nearly came to a complete halt. In a statement issued in November 2019, Duff explained, that Gordo was an essential piece of the puzzle to what made the original Lizzie McGuire so distinctive and treasured. She added, It's impossible for me to imagine how the series might go on without him. I can hardly wait for fans to learn what he has been up to for the previous 15 years and how he fits into Lizzie's grown-up world of job and relationships so that they may find out what he's been doing all this time. If Lamberg had accepted the role, it would have been his first cinematic credit in more than 10 years, and it would have been for the forthcoming Lizzie McGuire movie. Clayton Snyder Clayton Snyder played the character of Ethan Kraft, a popular student at the high school in Lizzie McGuire. Recently, he has made a comeback to the acting world and has appeared in television shows such as NCIS, Rules of Engagement, Hit Woman, and Edgar Allan Poe's Murder Mystery Dinner Party. He has also made cameos in Mondays, Wayward Guide, and other shows. After finishing his role in Lizzie McGuire, Snyder completed his senior year of high school and continued his education at the university level. Haley Todd Although she will always be known to us as Lizzie's mother, Todd continues to keep herself occupied. She has appeared in a number of movies and television shows, including The Last Champion, which she also helped to write. In addition to her work as an actress, she is the author of two books titled Parenting the Young Actor and Being Young Actors. Since their marriage in 1991, the couple has been blessed with a daughter named Ivy. Glenn Withrow, on the other hand, is a filmmaker. Jake Thomas Even though it's been 19 years since the series finale of Lizzie McGuire aired, Jake still enjoys reminiscing about his time on the show. Apart from his acting career, Jake is currently active as a director and photographer. He has collaborated with several notable figures, including the Merrill Twins and Chloe Lukasik. He is a well-known personality in the entertainment industry. Robert Carradine Sam McGuire was not Robert Carradine's first major acting role. 
He was in Revenge of the Nerds back in the 1980s, and it certainly wasn't his last. Sam McGuire was merely one of his more notable roles. Since his time on the show, the actor has continued to work consistently in the acting industry and remains active to this day. Ashley Brill Alt The beautiful blonde who, like Lamberg, chooses to keep a low profile, has been successful in avoiding the notice of the general public. Despite the fact that she was the dominant character on the Disney show, she has moved on to bigger and better things in her life and has been very successful. According to MTV, she left the acting industry to pursue a bachelor's degree in political science at California State University. During this time, she also earned her teaching credential. After that, it is said that she moved to Colorado where she attended law school, graduated with a Juris Doctor degree, and is currently working as a lawyer specializing in the area of criminal defense. US Weekly claims that she is married and the couple has one child, who was born in 2015. Lelaine After her time on Lizzie McGuire, Lelaine continued her career as an actress and musician, starring in films such as Easy A, Off the Clock, Her Best Move, and Promised Land. She avoids the public eye and keeps a low profile by making her Instagram account private. In July 2007, the actress was taken into custody and charged with possessing a felony quantity of methamphetamine. In exchange for a reduced sentence, she agreed to enter a guilty plea and successfully completed a drug treatment program as part of the plea deal. The accusation was erased once she finished therapy. In a November 2019 interview, she shared an exclusive quote in which she said, her having a completely different life than Hillary. She doesn't have kids. I thought it would be a really great experience to go through it with her. I believe that it is going to be a really wonderful balance of giving everyone what they want from the show in the past, as well as a new fresh show, in her at 30, which looks entirely different. In January 2020, the show's creator and showrunner, Terry Minsky, announced that she was leaving her position. After some time had passed, Dove voiced her displeasure with the decision to restrict the reality of 30-year-olds under the ceiling of a PG classification, and requested that the show be moved to Hulu. On the other hand, the actress from A Cinderella Story revealed in July 2020 that she and the streaming site had hit hold in order to reevaluate their goals for the future. Duff talked more about the abandoned project with Women's Health in August 2022. According to the Coming Clean singer, Lizzie had to be 30 years old and acting her age. She didn't have to regularly rip bongs and have one night stands, but it had to be genuine. I believe they were alarmed. Thanks for tuning in to Celebrity Rave. We hope you enjoyed all the latest celebrity news and gossip. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, please leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.